has been at the vanguard of Sri Lanka's ascent as a cricketing power. And his rise as a feared international batsman has coincided with Sri Lanka's rise as a force to be reckoned with in international cricket. Jayasuriya started his career as a fairly nondescript utility player who had an ability to smack the ball hard. His performances stayed ordinary for much of his early career. In fact, from his debut in 1989 till 1995, Jayasuriya had never ended a year with an average above 30 in Odis and had played only a handful of tests. The year 1996 was the breakout year for Jayasuriya. And he took the cricketing world by storm with his exploits in the 1996 World Cup. Taking advantage of the fielding restrictions in the first 15 overs of an innings had been in vogue since a while. With Martin Crow using Mark Great Batch to good effect in the 1992 World Cup, but Jayasuriya took it to another level. In a remarkable statistic, from the year 1996 onwards, Jayasuriya never ended a calendar year with a strike rate of less than 83, and frequently achieved 100 plus rates. He was also a more than useful left arm spinner, who was uncannily difficult to score off, and also picked up wickets. He brought a complete package to the OD game with his smart fielding at any position and his performance in the 1996 World Cup led to him being named the most valuable player of the tournament. Jayasuriya wasn't done yet, and in the tournament immediately following the Cup at Singapore, he smashed the fastest OD century, off 48 balls, subsequently betted by Shahid Afridi, and the fastest OD 50, off 17 balls. Which still stands. Jayasuriya proved he was no one-day wonder, by scoring big in test matches too. He made a mammoth 340 against India in 1997. And a quick-fire 213 against England at the Oval the following year that saw Sri Lanka win the match. He was also appointed the captain of the Sri Lankan team. But captaincy seemed to weigh his batting down and he eventually resigned after the 2003 World Cup. After that his spot in the side was questioned by some. But he silenced the doubters with a stellar year in 2004, where he averaged 56.50 in tests. However, his test form tapered off after that and in 2007. Jayasuriya retired from test cricket to focus on the limited overs versions. He is only the second man to have scored over 13,000 runs in Odis, and he has got those runs at a strike rate of over 90. He also has 322 wickets in Odis, with four five wicket hauls and stands ninth on the list of all-time wicket takers in Odis. With those kind of figures, he is certainly the greatest one-day cricketer produced by Sri Lanka and can lay legitimate claim to being amongst the greatest ever one-day exponents in the world. He announced his retirement in 2006 only to take a U-turn. He finally hung up his test boots in Kandy in 2007, whist still proceeding to flay bowlers in colors. He was one of the pillars of Sri Lanka's World Cup campaign churning out 467 runs at a typically breezy rate. Jayasuriya carried on his merry way, often flashing back to the Matara Mawla of the old in his bumper 2008 IPL stint, wherein he slammed 540 again with the details of such a valuable cricketer. Thanks for the visit. Love the sport lowly dears.